We've all been for a fun day out with our cameras, hoping to get great action shots, but ultimately coming home disappointed. Getting the photo you want, and more importantly, getting it in focus, can be surprisingly difficult, especially with a moving subject. This is Nina and James, and we're at an adventure park with a zip wire and an extreme swing. Today I'm going to show you the basics of autofocus using the 70D, but most of these techniques can also be used on other EOS cameras. Hey guys. So there's plenty of opportunity to get a great action shot. Frame up and half press the shutter button. The camera finds and then locks focus until I release the shutter. These autofocus marks in the viewfinder tell you your camera has found focus. So, what's the camera doing? If you've been using scene intelligent auto mode, that's the green square, you'll be used to the camera choosing its own autofocus points and deciding whether the subject's moving, all automatically. For this next moment of James and Nina on the swing, I'm going to shoot a series of photos and I'll need the camera to track focus between shots. So for more control over focus, I want to be in one of the creative modes like program or TV. I'll also need to move from one shot to AI servo, as this tells the camera my subject is constantly moving. I want Nina and James to be in a specific part of my frame, so I'll switch to Zone AF and select an area that covers them with fewer AF points for the camera to choose from. This will help ensure that Nina and James are in focus and prevents the camera from being distracted by other elements in the frame. I could even track them with a single point, but that takes more skill, so it's better for portraits and stationary subjects. So as you can see, if you can master the AI servo which tracks the focus and the continuous shooting, you've really got potential for some cracking action shots. There's a huge amount you can do to optimise the AF settings within the custom function menu, but one of the really useful abilities of the camera is to automatically select the AF points depending on which way up you're holding it. So I set this custom function to different AF points and then select these points when I'm holding the camera in landscape and these when I'm holding the camera in portrait. Now I'm going to shoot a range of shots of both of them on the zip wire, flipping the camera between portrait and landscape and all I need to think about is catching the moment. Great, well uh, I've shot it from up here so now it's time to Shoot from down there. I want to photograph Nina and James as they come in to land, but they're going to be moving really quickly, so I need the camera to pick them up and they enter shot, and then track the focus all the way through it. In order to do it, I'm going to select AI servo and also automatic 19 point selection. At the moment, it's set to center point, but they'll be coming in from the right, so I'll select it to this point here. Here they come. I'm placing the selected start point over James and half pressing the shutter. The camera tracked him as he travelled across the frame. So this time around uh, we're going down the zip wire but I'm going to be videoing and not taking photographs. Of In video mode, I can make use of the face tracking function which finds and tracks any face in the frame and allows me to smoothly pull focus between subjects. This time around I've changed the angle but it's going to be a real challenge for the AI server because Nina and James are literally coming straight at me. It's actually incredibly handy that you can automatically have a camera that's flicking between portrait and landscape mode with these autofocus points because travelling at 35 to 40 miles an hour is not something that you're immediately thinking of. 